Alright, so some quick news out of Thailand. WBC World Minimum Weight Champion, 105 pound champion, Wenheng Manayoten, advances from 41 and 0 with 16 knockouts to 42 and 0 with 17 knockouts in what was essentially a stay busy fight, uh, non title affair against Edo Ngoro. Um, basically, this was a fight that was held at 108 pounds, in spite of the fact that Wenheng Manayoten actually holds a 105 pound title. Basically, just a stay busy bout. It was almost like a, um, uh, official sparring match to a certain degree with regard to the how the fight played out basically uh first round maniathan started off just kind of stalking playing mostly defense landed a couple jabs here and there nothing really hard um pretty much testing his defense blocking a lot of angoto shots dodging a lot of angoto shots and uh, i mean pretty much won the first round almost defense alone almost without throwing a punch you know he threw a couple here and there but he essentially won it uh second round Angoro came out a little bit more aggressively, landed a, a few shots here and there, a couple to the body, a couple to the head, um, but again, Manarotin was j pretty much just playing defense, only landed a couple shots in this round as well, and pretty much took his time until the end of the round, you know, look at a very slow pace, a very even pace, looks, looked like he was just trying to, you know, g gauge out what Angoro was doing. Third round, Manarotin came out like a freight train, he just like, he looked like he was an, an entirely different fighter. Uh, coming out like he's normally done in his uh, world title affairs where he just was throwing punches from all angles, you know, very quickly, very snappy shots and rocking Angoro all over the place. And, I mean, just pretty much beating the crap out of him. I mean, he he was pounding this guy from pillar to post all around the ring and just, I mean, showing very little mercy on the guy. Angoro managed to finish off the third round, you know, managed to survive. And it went into the fourth round where Manayoten pretty much kept up the same pace as he had in the third round and eventually put Angoro down with a four-punch combination of right hand, left hook, left uppercut, then a, then a follow-up right hand that just uh, crumbled Angoro. And Angoro got up right about the seven count, but the, he was still wobbly. The ref called it. Um, Angoro kind of protested the decision to stop the fight to a certain degree, but... He was taking a beating, uh, I mean, regardless of how you saw it, with regard to how wobbly he was. You know, it was kind of a judgment call that the ref saw fit to stop. Um, so, when Iothin advances to 42-0, of course, this was a non title affair. So, even if he would have lost, which didn't seem likely at all, considering the fact that he went very light on the guy before he finally took him out. And, um, otherwise, I mean, he just, he racked up another victory, 42-0 and now. And, um, you know, he's... He's likely going to be fighting his next fight as an official title bout at, back at 105 pounds. Um, hopefully against his number one contender, Saul Juarez, which would be an excellent, excellent fight. Um, but there are other fighters that he could potentially fight out there as well. Um, you have former champion Katsunari Takayama, which would be a really, really great fight as well. Um, you have Carlos Buitrago out there who um, recently lost to Manayatin's countryman, knockout CP Freshmont in fairly controversial fashion um then you also have uh other fighters such as Daniel Rivera and Omar Kimareri but I mean otherwise uh Manayathin keeps up his winning ways and that's pretty much it as far as uh what went on in Thailand so that's all for this one catch you guys in the next peace